Hi all, Pankaj here. So in this video, we're going to talk about record level security. We have talked about object and field level security already. So if you haven't watched that video, I will add the link in the description. You can go and watch it before watching this. Okay. Now let's talk about what is record level security in simple terms first. Suppose there is a user, say he created an account record. Okay. Now he is the owner of that record. Now with record level security, we are determining whether other user who are not the owner of that record would be able to access it or not. That is what record level security means. Now let's look into a few pointers before moving ahead. So the first point says record access determines which individual record user can view and edit in each object they have access to in their profile. That is talking the same point that I discussed. So let's move ahead. The permission on a record are always evaluated according to a combination of object feed level and record level permission. When object level permission conflict with the record level permission, the most restrictive setting wins. What does it mean? Suppose user is assigned to a particular profile which doesn't provide him any access to say account object. Now, since you don't have the access to the object itself, there is no sense in talking about record level security and you know which one is most restrictive here. The account object level permission basically. The object level permission here is the most restrictive here. Now suppose we have given all the access to the account for that profile. Now since he have all the access related to the object, so there is no like restriction there. So the next restrictive uh, would be record level security. That is what this means. Okay, now let's talk about the ways to give record level access. So they are listed below in increasing order of access for you. Okay. So first is organization while default or generally known as OWD. Specify the default level of access users have to his or others record. Basically what is the default permission a user have on the record. Okay, now let's move uh, ahead. The other is role hierarchy. User have access to subordinate records. Now role what is role we would discuss later but what does role hierarchy here mean suppose there is a manager he will always have the access to all the say engineers working under him that is what role hierarchy you could relate to okay we will discuss it in the next video but for now let's keep it at this okay now move the sharing rules this is automatic access to records to user who don't have access Okay, so we are basically setting some condition based on whenever the, those conditions are fulfilling, the other user will have the access to records they don't own or they don't have the access to. Now, manual share, sharing is basically the owner giving access to other users. That is what does manual sharing mean. So, we have talked about all of them. So, in this video, we're going to restrict ourselves to the OWD. Let's understand it in detail. So, these are the types of OWD. So, these are the types of OWD organization wide defaults so in the definition like previously we studied it determines specify the default level of access the user have to his or others record you might have got the idea of this his part basically his or her okay but you might be confused on others record okay so let's talk about this here so suppose we or owd is private it means the owner only owner have the access to the records nobody else have that access but if role hierarchy is enabled basically enabling of role hierarchy means the senior of that user would be able to see that records as well we could enable it or dis disable it that is up to us okay so that is one point so let's sum up private again so only the owner have the access to the record but other users can have access if role hierarchy is enabled. Now we go to the public read only. Public read only means users other than the owner have only read access. So the owner have the full access but the other user will have the read access. Basically they can see the content of that record but can't edit it. That is public read only. Now when we come to public read it, read write it is self explanatory. It means all users have the read edit except, access except delete access would be to the owner itself. Now let's move to the control by parent. So user can perform actions such as view, edit, delete on a record on the detail side of a master re detail relationship if they, if they can perform the same action on the associated master record. So basically it is applicable only for the master detail relationship. The first point is that simply means if the user can perform the operation such as view, edit and delete on the master side basically the parent that action that user would be able to perform on the child object as well which is the detail side here that is what controlled by parent means now let's move to the other few OWD access like public read write and transfer 
public read write you will like you are able to understand like what this transfer means is basically the transfer ownership it is same as that but just transfer is extra here okay now let's go move to the public full access so all users can view edit transfer delete it and report on all records this is this functionality is only available for the campaigns object so hope you are clear with all the types of wd and the definition of OWD. Okay, so let's move ahead. Now controlled by parents, let's talk about in little detail. So here the child or detail would be or would always be custom. As you know that a must in a master detail relationship, a standard object could never be on a detail side. If you are if you are like little confused on the master details relationship, I would add the link for that as well that you could watch and then come to this video. Okay. So now let's move on and the parent could be a standard object or the custom object. Access of the child will always be controlled by parent. What does it mean? Suppose there is an object and have created a child for it. Okay. Now that object could have any permission, but the child will always have the controlled by parent permission. We will see it once we move to our org and you will have better understanding of this. Okay. Now there are a few other terms, read only and read write. These are basically the condition on the child object. When you create a, a master detail relationship, you could, would have these two options there, sharing setting, read only and read write. What does mean? It allows user with at least read access to the master record to create, edit, it, create, edit or delete related details record. Basically, if a user have only read only access to the master, even in that case, he would be able to create, edit or delete the child object. And read write allow users with at least read write access. So if the user have only read and write access, only then he could perform all the modification on the on the child object. Basically, create, edit, or delete. If he have the read and write permission on the parent, okay. So these are the these points that I'm talking about. Okay. Now in some of the standard object parent-child relationship through lookup, you can see control by parent option. Okay, this is available for few of few of the standard object in the org. Like for example, contact and account, okay, it can have the option controlled by parent as well as the other option. Though it's a lookup, but it is applicable for few of them. Okay, so now let's move ahead. We will see that in org in just a while. Well, how do we change this setting that we are talking about so far? What we do is we go to the setup, then we go to the quick find and type the sharing settings. We would have this sharing setting there. As you can see here, these are the default internal accesses, basically private, read only, controlled by parent, private, public, full access. We talked about that in case it is only available for campaign and other things. And there are two things, default internal access and default external access. What does it mean? Default internal access is the access using the Salesforce org. Okay. But default external access would be uh, access through an external portal or a website. And keep one thing in mind, default external access is either mo is either more restrictive or equal to the default internal access it and also one thing that we talked about the role hierarchy thing here is that we enable that ro role hierarchy access so for standard object it's already enabled for custom object you have the permission to either enable it or disable it okay we will see that in a while so let's move to our org and see all this so we are here on our org so let's move to the setup let me duplicate it. I want to show you one thing as well. So type sharing settings here. So go to it and I want to show you one thing for that. I will be opening object manager. Okay, not this one. I want to open this object. Okay. Of union relationship so we are going to talk about the controlled by parent first okay so as you could see this student object is a child of a class okay class object okay it's a master detail relationship where detail is the student and master is the class okay now we move to the sharing setting here you would see is the student is always controlled by parent that is what i was talking in this slide where that a child will always be a controlled by parent so as you could see it's a controlled by parent and even if we try to edit the settings here if we go there basically the student is not present because we can't edit it here basically the owd setting of it so now let's talk about the owd hope you're clear with the controlled by parent as you could see the private public read only 
पब्लिक रीड राइट एंड पब्लिक रीड राइट ट्रांसफर ओके एंड अकाउंट एंड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट यू कुड प्रोवाइड द परमिशन टू बोथ ऑफ दैम इन अ सिंगल को ओके एज यू हैव अदर थिंग्स एज वेल एंड देन फॉर द कैंपेन यू हैव द पब्लिक फुल एक्सेस ओके नाउ एज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द रोल हायर एर की एक्सेस एज यू कुड सी इट इज ऑलरेडी इनेबल्ड फॉर द स्टैंडर्ड ऑब्जेक्ट बट फॉर द फॉर द कस्टम ऑब्जेक्ट वी कुड इनेबल इट एंड डिसेबल इट दैट इज वट आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट फॉर द granting access using hierarchy so or role hierarchy let's make the control private okay and save it okay let me refresh it okay okay let me do it again maybe some net issue there but it takes a little time for the setting to enable yeah it takes time okay so the pri it has been made private now since we have made account as private only the owner would have the access to the records okay so let's create a record here with a salesforce admin profile okay accounts let's create a new account called say testing owd okay and for the account number let's add some random number random save it and now we have the we have created a, a testing owd record here and the setting for the account is private now as you know in the in the in the previous videos related to data data security i i created a user called salesforce hunter with a specific profile having the access to the account okay now since we have made account as pro, pri, private if we go to that profile this testing owd testing owd would not be available there okay let's move there salesforce hunter okay now let's refresh it and go to the accounts and it's already on the account and let's search for the all accounts it's already on the all accounts there is no item to display that's because it is not visible there testing owd because the access is private it is not visible here okay now let's make the access as go to the sharing setting and go to edit and say make it public read write okay and save it it will take time let time yeah it's already public read write so if we create now let's create another account here say testing owd2 okay and and save it now if we go there now the setting is is free from the restriction of private so let's go there and refresh it other records will also be visible here go to the yeah because the setting is not restricted to private now and even that testing owd will be available here two records of that both of them will be available that we created so far so hope you are able to understand how owd works i guess we have covered all the topics here yeah to show you that setting that i showed you about the master detail let me show that and then we are good to go with this video so go to the student and then go to that class name and let's edit it here you could see this sharing setting we go to the edit we will have that those two options to change the so if we go here we have those options to change the read write and read only setting thanks for watching